Tonight, the Labour Relations Court has temporarily stopped the hearing of Kenya Airways and Kenya Airports Authority's case against Aviation Workers Union to allow for conciliatory talks. As Faisal Ahmed reports, operations at Jomo Kenyatta Airport have been normalized with heavy presence of Kenya Air Force soldiers assuming the task of Kenya Airports Authority staff. The calm after the storm. This was the situation at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport after yesterday's 12-hour lockdown. Additional Kenya Air Force officers seconded to bridge the gap left by striking Kenya Aviation Workers Union members. Operations by a number of airlines back to normal. The national carrier, however, indicated that it was grappling with challenges, forcing it to cancel and reschedule some flights. Sources attributing to over 100 crew members who belong to the union allegedly failing to show up to work, most of them calling in sick. In the corridors of justice, the Labor Relations and Employment Court temporarily stopped the hearing of KQ and KAA case to allow the conciliatory committee appointed yesterday by Labor CS Ukuriatani to resolve the impasse. On the other hand, Koto Secretary General Francis Atoli encouraged cow members to keep away from the airports in protest of their officials' continued custody. Those who have listened to me, please stay home, stay away from the airport. Tomorrow, Mujai Kotini. Legally, I cannot enter into a return to work formula on your behalf. Cow members arrested on Wednesday will appear before the JKI court on Friday. Despite the lack of personnel and the cancellation of flights, operations at JKI seems to have normalized after yesterday's chaotic turn of events. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV.